Hello, Desert Bearhawk fans. We are in the shop tonight. It is the Saturday just after Thanksgiving, I guess the 24th of November 2018. Um, <clears throat> right wing is on. Excuse me, left wing is on the table. Man, I tell you what, if you've ever built the model airplane, one of the biggest mistakes you make as a beginner is you build two right wings. And I am forever messing up which wing I've got. But anyways, got the left wing on the table. Um, uh, sent a picture out last night so you saw that. But uh, just a quick update on what I'm doing. You can see here this quarter inch steel dowel and it picks up those rig holes. You can see one right there. And what it does is it's basically rigging or jigging this. I guess rigging is the word we're supposed to use now this to this uh, root or excuse me this tip uh, rib right here and uh, seeing how every rib was made off the same pattern if you line up the jig holes then they should all line up so you can see that I've got this uh, pin through this rib and then through the aileron a couple of ribs so that'll set the distance for aft for aft this way and, and the distance up and down at this point. And then of course the leading edge, we can raise and lower that, you know, as we're hinging it. So I've got these dowel pins all in. You can see now the aileron and the flap are pinned together. And what I worked on today and with help from my buddy Brent yesterday, um, who helped me get this up on the table to begin with, thanks Brent, is I've uh, lined up the flap and I have now drilled in the outboard and the inboard flap hinge, at least one side of it. And you can see it's calicoed in position there. Now the center flap hinge didn't get calicoed or drilled because when I had this all off, I didn't like the way that was sitting in there. The, uh, the hinge plates were not perpendicular to the um, internal structure of the flap well there and I just didn't like it. it didn't look good would have made a difference most likely not it's only about a 16th or an eighth off but why come this far and not get it right so anyways today um, I lined it all up used a string used these dowels you can see the dowel out here on the tip too and lined it all up and uh, of course it's an amateur built airplane there's a little bit of deviation uh, you know I didn't get my stuff 100% straight. It's off, but um, what do they say? Perfection is the enemy of completion. So the 32, it's off, or 64th that it's off here and there. I'm not going to even sweat that nonsense. But uh, the flap is essentially hinged. Once I get this one lined up, I'll pull it back off. I'll drop two holes, put a couple of number 30 Clecos in it put it back on, make sure I get full range of movement, which I will get, and uh, we're golden. Then I have to do is drill them, nut plate them, put it back together, and uh, the flap will be hinged. Now the trick with hinging the flap is, is because the hinges, and you can see one right here, they float this way, this way, every which way, plus they go on a, there's a, let's see if I can see it there, down there at the very end, there's a rod end that goes in or out on this socket. So you can, you can move the flap in and out, up and down. <laughs> I'm doing it with the camera. And right and left. Of course, the, the, the thing to remember is, is because that flap hinge or aileron hinge is mounted at an angle, the, the further you move it in towards the spar, the higher up the pickoff point becomes. So you have to find that exact balance between in, up, right and left all at the same time and then get in here and lock it down with the clamp like I've done here then very carefully without disturbing anything get this off of here and mark the holes and drill them once you get one side of the uh, hinge drilled in Coleco then you're what do they say then Bob's your uncle no Bob's your uncle because once you get one side locked down you're golden so um, <clears throat> Got this flap in position. I'm pretty happy. I actually did check it for full range of motion. It's spot on on its distances. Everything looks right. 
but there's a little waviness in the skin. You can see it right here, just barely. So the clearance here is a little less than the clearance here. Um, but that's the nature of a home-built airplane. I mean, this was all flat aluminum at one point, and I beat it into shape. So it's going to have a little deviation. I'll come through with a body hammer, a, a dolly, and kind of work to straighten those out so visually it's pleasing. But mechanically, it's 100% and we're good to go. So that's the update in the shop. I know that it's been a long time since I've done videos, and I apologize, but uh, motivation is back. I went flying full scale this morning, so got to get this thing done so we can fly it to Oshkosh. All right, that's, uh, that's a double length video there. That's about six minutes, but uh, we're on our way. Won't be long before there's a fuselage in this shop and this wing will be put up, done, put to bed. So until then, I'll see you in the shop.